Hey everybody and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. Got something special for you today. We're going to do a little bit of a tutorial, but we're also going to be teaching someone how to use an airbrush. Stick around, we'll have some fun. As many of you remember, the first model car I ever built was with my dad when I was six years old. Uh, he taught me how to use a rattle can, how to make sure you've swept past and, you know, don't linger and all that stuff. Well, I'm going to take it a step further today. I am going to teach another six-year-old, my granddaughter Zoe, how to use an airbrush. Imagine how good she's going to be when she gets my age. <laughs> and let me introduce you, if you have not met Zoe, let me introduce you to Zoe. Zoe, Zoe, where's Zoe? Oh, there she is. She was snuck up on us. And by the way, you notice we're wearing our company squadron ball cap. She wanted to look alike, so we're doing that. She is dressed in a baggy t-shirt so we can do some airbrushing and the light is not getting under your hat enough. There you go. So we're going to teach Zoe how to use an airbrush. And she's got an upcoming contest uh, in about three weeks. So we're going to be finishing up a couple of models with her. Uh, and I thought it would be cool to show her how to use the airbrush so she could uh, do some things special for the upcoming show. If you remember last year, in this picture, you see her with her awards. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. And, if, and if you didn't know, Proud Papa, here is a shot of her car in, the, in a magazine. Woo-hoo! Woo! So uh, hopefully, well, who knows, we might get that again. But we're going to have some fun. Zoe's going to learn how to airbrush. And uh, hey, let's just all have some fun. <laughs> Stick around, guys. We'll set it up. Okay, so now we're getting ready to move over to the paint booth and teach Zoe how to use the airbrush. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our hats around so we can, we can work with unobscured vision, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's get over to the paint booth. So Zoe, this is an Awada airbrush. Oh. You hold it like a pencil. Show me that. Okay, there you go. You got your finger on the button there. Good. And when you push down, what? Put your hand out. Feel the air? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got air coming out. And as you slide your finger back, then paint starts to come out. But you don't do that when there's paint in here. Okay, so what we're going to do is I want to show you how not, it, you don't want it to run. So what you always want to do is go past, 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 past. And you can adjust how close you get depending on the paint flow. But you get used to it. But what you don't want to do is for the paint to run all down and it'll look icky. Yeah. So let me show you what we're going to do. So, so you will learn, I'm going to use water and teach you how to adjust your distance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our glass eyedropper and we're gonna put a little water in the bowl. Does that look like a bowl? <laughs> kinda looks like a cup though. Well, a cup, there you go, a color cup technically. Yeah. Okay, and we got our cap on so we don't spill, we don't wanna do that. Now, let me show you something. If you get too carried away, Gigi, can you get zoomed in? Now watch what happens if I get too carried away. See all that water running down your hand here? Ew! We don't want that to happen. So, here's what we're going to do. Let's get that off. Now let Papa show you what you want to do. You want to put it on there, even water. And this, guys, by the way, this is about 20 pounds. So it's got a pretty good flow. But now watch this. I don't know if you can see that, guys, but if you see the water coming out. Yeah, I do. But you see that? Yeah. My hand is, Looks even like with that mist, with that much, you don't see like it running everywhere. But the water, here, you hold the airbrush a minute. But the water is indeed on my hand, and the reason, let me grab a fresh paper towel, and as you can see, it's wet. 
so the water was on there. Yeah. So that's what you want to do. Now you put your hand up there and put it on there. Don't let it do the back of your hand. That way you can feel the, the go on. And move it back and forth. Don't stay in one spot, remember. It tickles. It tickles. <laughs> so you're going to be tickling a model car too? <laughs> yeah. All right. That's my girl. All right, let me I see. I can see my skin moving. You can? Yeah, like, it's like a bowl. You see it? It is. Okay, let me feel. Oh, you did get some water on there. Do it some more. Well, slow down. Don't go too fast. You can start to get those runs again. Now pull back even more. I see it. Very good. Okay. That was pretty good, actually. No. Here, wipe your hand off. Oh, yeah, you got some water on there. And you didn't get it to run. Very good. And That was pretty easy. Let's get the rest of that water out of there. And then we'll turn the... You know what? I think you're ready to do some painting. What do you think? Yeah. All right. Let's clean this up real good. Get the rest of the water out of the inside because water and paint don't mix very well. So let's do that. Unless it's watercolors. Excellent point. If it's watercolors, it would. Or acrylic paints, so watercolors. Yeah, that yeah. would work very nicely. Yeah. Okay, we're going to dry but other, this out. Other real paints good. or art styles doesn't work but True. that good. Okay, guys, we are going to prep some parts for her upcoming car build. And I don't know if we'll do the airplane. The airplane we may do with a spray can. So we'll show you how to use a spray can, too. Okay, so we'll be right back. Hey, guys, we just remembered we didn't tell you what she's building for the show. Where is it, Zoe? Let me see. There it is. A Jeep Quicksand Concept. So we're going to have a gasser-looking concept. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be painting the pipes, the stacks, and the moon tank, we're going to be painting those in chrome, a.k.a. chrome. So, uh, and she is tickled to death. So that'll be her first airbrush experience. And uh, we're going to do some spray canning on that. But while stuff's drying, we'll do a part two. I don't know what she's doing, but I think she's trying to get you to, uh, she's pointing at the model. Okay. But there you go. So, um, but this is, this is actually what we're doing. And here's the parts that are going to be the chrome parts that we're getting ready to spray so she is getting ready to do some airbrushing and by the way i am very proud of her in her practice check this out that was her practice on an old my just first. an old fire extinguisher mm -hmm. thing isn't my it first. her very first and i am proud of her there's no runs um there was a flaw in the the piece original piece but uh Again. And, of course, Chrome, that showed up. Again. But I think she did an outstanding job. So we're going to get over here and paint, paint these, these other pieces. So we're going to do it. You ready? Yeah. Let's get to it. Okay, so and guys, if you're having a harder time hearing, we've got the vent fan going this time. So uh, we want to keep these fumes away. And we're being bad. We're not wearing masks right now. But we're going to be good here. All right, here's our AK Chrome. I'm going to put a little in there. Just a little at a time. And look down in there, guys. I think we've looked at the AK Chrome in there before, too. See it, Zoe? Yeah. All right. Normally, I don't shoot with a lid on it, but for safety reasons, we're going to put it on there. Now remember, pull back a little bit at a time and go back and forth. Very good. Okay, let's start with the moon tank. Slowly. You know what? Let's start with the back side of one of these heads. There you go. Okay. Show Papa what you got. Get close. Go back and forth. A little quicker. A little more paint. Ooh, look at this. A little more. I can't forget the tops of them. 
Well, I'll, I'll turn it for you. Remember, back and forth. A little more paint. Slide your finger back just a little more. Look at you! Get right down here. Wow, look at that. Shiny. Shiny. Okay, get this end. Slide back a little more. You just got air right now. There you go. Now let's do the front. Until it turns shiny like the handle there. A little more paint. No, not in circles. Remember, back and forth. Watch this. Got it? There you go. Back and forth, a little more paint. Now down this way. A little more paint. Watch this. This is what I want you to do. See, about halfway back. And then up here, the same way. All right. That was that shiny. That's what you want. There you go. All right, now stop. And let's, oh, look at that. Yeah. Let's get another one. Okay, here's our other one. Well, let's start with the back side again. Cool. Let's do the sides. Get underneath. Okay. Woohoo! Okay. That one was fast. Wait, can't forget the top. Well, you don't need to do the top because there'll be stuff snapped onto it. How cool is that? That's so pretty cool. <laughs> I think it's cool too. Okay, let's do the stacks. More paint. Nope, don't go in circles. Remember, go back and forth. Wow. A little more paint, a little more paint. Woo, there you go. Now do the tops. Got to slide back a little more. There you go. Look at that, Gigi. Great job, Zoe. Yeah! Good. All right, let's do this one. And then we got the moon tank, and then we'll let this dry. Nice and slow. Good. Very good. All right. Don't you look. are getting the hang of this. Yeah. No runs, let's, no drips, no let's errors. Let's do this one now. All right. You do your moon tank. All right. Start on the bottom. No, no, not a lot of people will see the bottom. No, but we want to start there and go around. Pull it back a little bit more. Okay, get the ends. Sides. And the sides. Okay, that's it. Look at that. Woo! Hang Zoe. <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> good almost, job. Almost good as job. good as you. Oh, you want a what? Almost as good as you. You're almost as good as me. Well, you might actually have done that better. I certainly wouldn't have done that the first time. All right. Well, let, we're going to put this in the dehydrator, let it dry real quick, and we'll start prepping some other stuff. And I'm going to clean the airbrush. Okay, so we just found something that we did not shoot in chrome, didn't we, Zoe? And that's these trim ring 
edges of the thing. So we're going to go back and do that after I clean the airbrush. What's so this? That's okay. Well, I don't know yet. I think that's part of the roll cage. But anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these springs. And by the way, guys, she took a gold and a, even though these are gold and silver Sharpie. But check that out. Pretty cool, huh? I did. He did one of these. I showed her how to do the silver on one, and she did the rest. Okay, so now we're going to use some almost panel line accent black, and we're going to do these springs. Now I'm going to show you what to do, okay? Okay, let me get some excess off of this shaft here. There we go. That's a lot. And, okay, here. Take it. Mm. Can Got you it? hold it? Can you hold this? I will hold this for you. Now what you want to do is, wait a minute. You want to start right up here. Let me get in it the in middle? the camera so you can see. No, not in the middle. Start right there at the top spring and just go straight down. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Now, go straight down to the bottom. No, you don't need to do that. Just do no. that. But you'll, you'll need to get some more now. And you don't have to push it very hard. Just touch it a little bit. See there? And the other side. Check that out and do the other side. And don't press down so hard. And here's the key. So you're using the back of the brush. Use the tip. Watch. Oh, Whoa. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Let me Use the tip of the brush. Hmm, hold on. Yeah, get you a little more. Kids love more. Oh, look at that. Just the tip. Okay, now That's look. That's cool. Cool, huh? Here. Oh, do the back side of that one. Oh, forgot. And don't press down on it hard. Just barely touch it. Barely touch it. Cool. And it, and Check it out, guys. We've got... One more over here. One more over springs. here. Springs. Hold on. You know, so you don't need to touch it that hard. Barely touch it. Okay, great. All right. Oh, we got a little spray on the thing here. Let's get that up. That's cool, Zozo. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll lay these on this, and we'll do the back ones. Ready? Okay. Okay. Remember, barely, barely touch it. Okay? Ready? Oh, yeah. All right. You turned it. I did move, didn't I? And this so Oh, check you it out. You moved it. You again get you a little more and just go yeah don't see you're pressing too hard there you go though you're okay. looking good girl okay. don't forget the other side let's look at the other side okay so this one yeah i could good. use a little over there and just remember the tip of it look at that you want to try a seat <sighs> Let's see if the seat, it's got a pattern in it. I don't know if you can see the pattern, guys. The lighting is not... Yeah, there you go. We're going to try it. Barely. Don't use much, though. Okay? Oop, got a little get bit it, on Get it closer down so, so I don't... All right, now, not that much. Not that much. Take a little more off there. There you go. And barely touching the center. That doesn't... Go up and down a little. Ooh, see how it goes in there? Oops. Oops. Okay, you want to get the bottom? I... We'll get a Q-tip and get that off the edge of the seat. Don't forget the other Ooh. one. Don't forget the other seat. Let me get the Q-tip here, and we'll get that off of that seat. Ready to do that one? Yeah. Just taking the time. Remember, so. not much. And the bottom. And the bottom. Make sure you get the whole seat. Oh, wait, they didn't get the edges. Yeah, the edges. That's good. 
cool. And we'll take the Q-tip and we'll get this off. Now, what else are you going to be painting? Mm. You remember? Mm, no. You don't? Well, oh, yeah. We've got to paint those trim rings and then we've got to work on your airplane, which we'll be getting to that in the next one. We'll either be doing uh, spray can and, we, and you know what? We might even airbrush. This is another snap type, but we're going to have some fun with it, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. I'm pointing we'll again. Okay. I think that's going to be the end of part one while we have part. Oops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Zoe thought we were done. Um, but we weren't quite. So anyway, that's okay. Um, we are going to call this one the end of part one and we're going to let this stuff dry and we're going to get back and do some assembly. And as I said, I don't know if we'll do airbrush or, uh, eh, if she wants to, we'll just snap together the airplane and get the stickers on it. So sounds good. Yeah. Get your hat on. She had taken her hat off there for a second. You and you got a bag it. on your head. What's a bag on your... Get that off. Did Mama never tell you don't put bags on your head? Okay. All right. So, let's see if we can turn this thing around here. Well, hold on. I'm going to have to change it. So, that's going to be it from Hobby Dude and Little Hippie Dudette. <laughs> what did I... So, uh... We'll see you in part two, and we'll get more done. This is exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Love you guys. We'll talk to you later. God bless.